Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coders Lobby. In today's video, we are going to explore the Gmail feature available in the Google Workspace using UiPath. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our topic. First step is to generate the credentials that we already have generated in the first video of this series. If you haven't watched that video, I'll recommend you to first watch that video. It will help you to get to know about how we can generate the credentials. I'll provide the link in the description box as well as in the I button. Once the credentials has been generated, we have to enable the API. So to enable the API, what we have to do is we have to go to the libraries. Here, if you will come down, you can find Google Workspace. Under Google Workspace, here is the Gmail API. You will you'll have to click on that. Then from here, we have to click on enable. So we have to wait. Now this API has been enabled. You can see the status. What's the status is enabled. Now we have to go to credentials again and we have to use the OAuth 2.0 client ID. So from here, what we can do, we can download the JSON key. And we, as we have to download it in the UI path, so we'll go here and we'll go to the project and in the project folder, we have to download it under data in the JSON key folder. So go here, we'll provide the path and hit on save now the json key has been downloaded let's move to the ui path and here we will implement how we can use the gmail features so let's see what are what and all the gmail features are available here you can see we have the we have one activity as change label this activity will help us to move the email from one folder to another folder get email messages uh, this activity will help you to get all the email messages available in a particular folder and send email message will help us to send the email so let's begin with get mail messages and before moving to that we have to set up this google application scope so here we are using the service account so in this we have to pass the file path so let's click on this Click copy path, go here and hit. Okay, it has been done. Click OK. Oh, uh, let's see, anything is pending. This is not required. This is also not required. So we have used this one. Now click on configure scope. We have to use this mail.google.com. Let's click OK. Now, this is our object. Let's create a variable email messages. Hit OK. Click OK. Now, we want to get all the mail messages. Let's see. Okay maximum 30 okay let it be this is not required options we can mark all the mail messages as red so we'll mark it as red now if i'll show you how many mail messages we have you can see seven messages here seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so let's go here and message box we can give that email messages variable we have created this one dot count okay now let's take one for each activity and For this system dot net dot mail dot mail message let's click OK and here we have this variable and OK let's 
item dot subject dot to print. All right, we have to convert it to string as well. Let's debug it. Just wait for a moment to get debug it. Okay, we have to allow it one time. So you can see it's the email subject one email subject is 12. Uh, this is the count of emails. So 7, uh, as we have seen 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12, 12 email, first email subject is help strengthen the security of Google account. Same. Now let's go here. The second email subject is this one. And the from third to like 7 emails would be the same subject, security alert. You can see because it's in a same mail chain. Now with this, we have uh, reached this email your google account was removed successfully now let's click ok you can see 12 abc finishing setting up your new google account let's click ok so this is how we can read all the email messages use uh, in the gmail using this google workspace uh, get mail message activities now what we have to do is we have to use another activity available over here so what is that can see inbox is empty there is no emails now let's go here in the UI path and before this we have to copy the email address let's copy this email address and we have to paste it over here and the subject let's make it as test UI path Google workspace and same we can put in the body as well right done what's the issue here all right we have to give it in a array so array of string all right now let's debug it and we have to go here soon you will see one message will be received by the subject test your path google workspace you can see this is the mes this is the mail ma mail which has been sent by this email id which we have configured in the ui path and the mail with the body as test ui path gw with the subject same test ui path gw so this is how we can use send mail message activity available in the Google workspace. Now what we have to do is we have to use the change label activity. So how we can use that? Okay, so for that we have to use this. Okay this uh, get mail message activity all right and this for each loop this is we have to use all right let's move drag it to top move it under this and this as well now what we will do here we'll remove this and we'll take change level activity so what's the input for this um, activity is the email object so let's took this item and we'll pass it over here all right let's see what it is saying email this is the email okay something is wrong what dot gsu dot model dot gmail message okay we have to select this ui part dot gsu dot models here we have to change the argument type path dot gsuit 
dot models dot gmail message let's click ok and now email messages okay this has been done now we have to pass the label or the folder name where we have to move that particular email so we want to move it to the spam all right now let's go here first and if you will go here and in the spam if you will see there is no emails now let's go here and we will debug it let's go to the gmail here you will see this uh, all the emails from the inbox will be moved to the spam folder. but okay all right you can see all the ma mails has been moved to the spam folder you can see here so this is how we can use all the mail message activities available in the google workspace thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video hit the like button and if you have any question regarding this topic or any other topic please leave the comment below i'll do my best to answer that question and also don't forget to subscribe the channel